I'm entering a new chapter in my life. So to celebrate that, I've decided to talk about my favorite film finales. Now obviously this will include conclusions to series along with endings to trilogies. With all that out of the way, let's get started. Number five. I would like to say that I know the fifth spot is technically a 10th season of a show I really love, but it aired as a TV movie in America, so I'm including it anyway. March of the Uni may be rushed, but it left me with a satisfying and fulfilling experience. There's so much beauty with its story, characters, visuals, score, and even its fan service. It not only honors the history of Ninjago, but it's very poetic and meaningful to the story. Finally, I love how March of the Uni felt like an end of an era, with a new journey on the horizon. Number 4 Return of the Jedi is a good bookend to the original trilogy, and I'm one of those people that actually enjoyed The Rise of Skywalker, but Revenge of the Sith is the ultimate Star Wars movie. It's got exciting action, emotional moments between the characters, a climactic battle between our protagonists, an intriguing plot filled with deception and distrust, and a sad story about a hero's downfall. I was fascinated with the large emphasis on the tragedy of Anakin Skywalker, especially with its obvious parallels to Shakespeare's Macbeth and Julius Caesar. Number three. Return of the King is incredible. No film has ever been able to match its massive scale. This film is jam-packed with various plot lines, which it surprisingly juggles very smoothly while wisely using its four-hour runtime. We have powerful displays of the true strength and courage of men. Every single character is important to the story, and they are given proper resolutions. Don't even get me started on the action, because they make those feel like the battles of the century. Number two. Deathly Hallows Part Two brilliantly concludes the Harry Potter saga in an extremely satisfying way. Just like its predecessor, no one is safe, and you feel the painful realization of war. We get a lot of emotional scenes where the characters have to cope with loss and fight an evil that has long haunted their world for decades. This movie is filled with iconic scene after iconic scene. It delivers so many fantastic payoffs and resolutions. There are tons of memorable moments where fan favorite characters are given the spotlight and long running arcs that are finally wrapped up. Then we have a bunch of other aspects which elevate this film to phenomenal heights. The score gives me chills. The cinematography and visuals are gorgeous. The acting and dialogue is superb. The fast pacing flows so smoothly. The fan service is rewarding, the high stakes and tension is nail biting, and the Battle of Hogwarts always leave me with goosebumps whenever I watch this movie. Deathly Hallows Part 2 is a perfect culmination of the Harry Potter film series. Number 1 Calling at World's End a remarkable finale would be a huge understatement. The film provides one of the most breathtaking experiences that I've ever had. It's completely driven by a filmmaker's passion, whose vision is so bizarre and unique that it's fascinating to behold. You won't see any movie like this one, and I love it for that. At World's End isn't afraid to go crazy because it full-on embraces the madness within its world. However, it perfectly balances its craziness because it's able to take itself so seriously while also going completely bonkers. The movie's storytelling may be insane, but it's very beautiful as well. The film treats its story and characters with the utmost respect. The epic conflict that everyone is caught up in feels so large and adds so much pressure to the journey. It places the protagonists into extremely difficult situations that challenges their morals, their viewpoints, and their allegiances. It also emphasizes the core message of the trilogy, which is making choices that best suits your conscience and that freedom is always worth fighting for. Now, the film contains so many memorable characters, with the main cast receiving the best and most rich development in the entire series. 
At World's End did a stellar job fleshing out its characters while concluding their stories in directions that best fit them. I was also invested and so captivated by the powerful love stories, which are presented in a tangible way and elicit such an emotional response from me. Now I could ramble on about its spectacular action sequences, incredible visuals and cinematography, or the phenomenal score, but I think you get the idea on why I consider At World's End to be the best finale. So those are my five favorite film finales. And thank you for many of you for joining me on this journey. And I hope to continue seeing you all in my next journey that I'm making here. That's all I got to say. And see the new me, I guess. <laughs>